Sports Live in the ATL here. Another car video. It's been a while. Got some things to say. Ugh. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't know where to go when it comes talking about the Atlanta Hawks. I, 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 I've said this before. I'm just utterly shocked. I'm shocked and disgusted and disappointed in this team. Um, there, are, there are friends of mine that like to laugh at the Hawks and everything, which is understandable. Uh, one of them's laughing because his team failed against ours uh, in last year's playoffs and um, trying to ride every conceivable notion and wave to try to get back at us. Well, you're not going to get that. You're not, you're not ever going to get that back. Ever going to get that back. And, you know, I'm not one to come on here and, and talk too much. Unlike some people, because they, they just do not shut up. But your team is not winning either. Okay, I don't care who you got. I don't care what glorified player that you got. You're not winning either. And you're not going to make the Eastern Finals. I'm sorry. Sorry to tell you. No, actually not sorry. James Harden hasn't won an NBA championship. And he will not this year. You won't even make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. So enjoy your little regular season ride because that's all you do on your teams is enjoy your regular season. You enjoy your regular season wins and accomplishments, and I'll just keep winning championships. Now, will I win a championship this year with the Hawks? No. I, I No. I mean, we make, for God's sakes, we may not even make the play-in tournament. I, I don't see how that's, pos not, how that's possible for us not to make it, but it's possible. This is a very disappointing team. All the talent in the world, and, and I've said this a million times, Tra it goes as Trey Young goes. Trey Young plays well, we win. Trey Young doesn't, we lose. I don't know how Bogdanovich and Gallinari score 25 plus points apiece, and Capella has a good game, yet we still lose. 108 105 against the Bulls, a minute, something to go. We got the ball and just fall apart. I don't get that. You want to know why? It's because we didn't make trades at the deadline. And I'm sick and tired of people telling me, well, who could we have gotten, Slitta? It doesn't matter. There were players out there. I've already mentioned it. If you, need, if you want to know the players' names, just watch all these damn YouTube video makers for Atlanta Sports who keep saying, oh, here are the rumors. The rumors of this guy. The rumors of this guy. You, you don't need to hear it from me. You already know there were players out there to get. Hawks just didn't do it. We got good players on our team. If Gallinari, John Collins, Bogdanovich, Kevin Herter will be more consistent and do what they did last year, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Some of these guys may not even be on the team next year because they're so in, they've been so inconsistent this year. DeAndre Hunter, again, is out. I don't know what his injury is. They say it's a health thing, but this dude is never on the court just like Cam Reddish. And Hawks fans complaining about Reddish being traded. What has he done with the Hawks besides being on the injured list and the bench? And what the hell is he doing in New York? DeAndre Hunter. Everybody keeps praising over his talent. What is he doing? What has he done? He's shown a flash in the pan. Pancakes flip-flopping for about five minutes, and that's it. He hasn't even played a full time yet because he's always injured or some health issue. Get rid of him, man. All the talent in the world, they're never on the court. And the only guy guys on the floor who can play. That game against Chicago just symbolized the disappointment. There was no excuse to lose that game. I believe last year we would have won it. But to be hovering around at 20, what, 20, uh, 28 and 31. With the players on this team after coming off an Eastern Conference Finals, two wins away from the NBA Finals last year, that is a joke. You know, I, I, I mean, I came on here and said all offseason, even right after the game, that the Hawks are going to win the title because I felt like they were turning the corner. It looked like it. So don't blame me, you know, you know, for believing because a lot of Atlanta fans on YouTube and the media says, oh, we didn't have many expectations uh, for the Hawks. Bullshit. Yes, you did. A lot of y'all were like me. You, you guys just don't want to admit it. You, you can't tell me after that Eastern Conference Finals run, two wins away from the NBA Finals, that you guys didn't believe that this team was going to was gonna go up. I did. I did. I admit it, and I was fooled. But this is terrible. 23 games left. They said we got to go like 20-something and three uh, to catch the Celtics to avoid the – yeah, stop. Just stop. Stop right there. Put the pause brakes on. Only three losses in the last 23 games? Yeah, right. 
This team is so inconsistent. I've never seen a team to put together two seven-game winning streaks and still be 21-38. and 38. That, that shows how terrible that they've been in between those. And it started coming out of the gate of the season playing terrible and going 1-8 and eight on the road, their first nine road games. Terrible. Like I said, they, they believe they're hyped too much. Trey Young, uh, great, an awesome ball player, without a doubt. But he, like a lot of people, get trigger happy. You're no Steph Curry, sir. You don't have a Klay Thompson on there. You don't have these other guys who are knocking down shots consistently. And it's disappointing because the players I mentioned earlier can play. And they've proven they can score. That's what's disappointing. I, I can't get it. I don't understand it. And, and it's frustrating to know that this team it could be on the verge of not even making a play-in tournament. I mean, for God's sakes. But you want to know what? I, I'm, I'm a firm believer, and I've said it before. Like in life and in sports, you get what you deserve. You get what you put into it. And the Hawks have a, a, a capital F for failure, frauds, and forgetful year. I don't expect, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen in these final 23 games. But I'm eating my words that Atlanta Hawks are not winning the NBA title. They may not even make the playoffs. I'm not even going to say if they get in, they'll make a move because this team has been so inconsistent this year and extremely frustrating. It's hard to watch. I don't even know how many. Thank God my work schedule and stuff doesn't mix in with them Hawks games. And you want to know what? I haven't watched a lot of Hawks games even when I'm home or able to because they're so frustrating. The radio said, I mean, after the All-Star, I mean, after the All-Star break, you come out and you blow a game. They said it's the predictable. It's the same thing that they've seen. All year. You want to know why? You want to know what could have changed that? Trades. Get some ball players in here who are more consistent. Uh, who could you have picked up? Slitter? Who could the Hawks? Shut up. Stop. The Hawks could have made some moves to improve this team. I don't care if teams wanted to. If somebody wanted DeAndre Hunter, you should have done it. Somebody would have wanted Kevin Herter or something like that. You should have done it. You should have gone after Ben Simmons. Let's be real. For his defense, you should have done it. You should have done it. We all know his offense sucks, but you have enough offensive firepower uh, that that you get one defensive player in here could make a whole difference. Oh, Slitter, you don't know what you're talking about. Be quiet. Just crying shame, man. So, I know, keep laughing at my team. I'm laughing at my team. It's just ridiculous. It is. It's utterly ridiculous. But fans who love to see my, my, my teams lose, enjoy this. Guys who love to see my Hawks lose and are relishing in it, enjoy it. You should. I talk to big games. See, I'm one of those, like I said, you be, be humble. Be humble and you're going to win. I was braggadocious on the Hawks and it hit me in the face. And I'm paying the price for it. But I can also own up to it. I was wrong. And I am eating my words. Humble pie don't taste good when it comes to the Hawks because I expected more. There's no frosting. There's no whipped cream. There's no fruit. It's probably imitation. And the, the pie itself is probably cardboard. I'm guilty, and I'm owning up to it. I was wrong. So you won't hear me bragging about this team. I haven't had anything to brag about. Everybody, I mean, these fans on Twitter just just make me laugh. What are they smoking and drinking? Oh, this guy's eating. Oh, he's cooking today. What? What are, what are the Hawks cooking and eating? Oh, we didn't. So whatever, be quiet. Hawks, you're terrible. I'm disappointed in you. Uh, these last 23 games, just try not to embarrass yourself. Please, try not to embarrass yourself. <sighs> Anyways, uh, Sports Live in the ATL. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that'll be. Oh, episode three of Conversation with the Champ will be Monday, even if it's by myself. And I'll post the time probably Sunday night. So look for it on my community page. If you're interested, Video Maker 1, uh, it can be any team. Let me know. Hit me up. Comment below. Twitter at ATL39. And I'll see you in the next one.